If you've ever wanted to see a microcosm of a political ideology played out right in front of you, look no further than a private university. For example, Harvard University has been a bastion of liberalism and progressivism while standing on the shoulders of brilliant students and teachers of the past. Well, what's been the result of late of this devotion to leftism? Discrimination, segregation, and most recently, causing sororities to close down because they're forced to be co-ed. Behold, progress? I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. Harvard has recently been the focal point of racial bias in admissions, a process that should solely be about finding the most brilliant and brightest among us to learn at some of the top universities in the country. However, the admissions process at Harvard seems to care more about your skin color than your grades and work ethic. What should be a colorblind process has caused backlash from Asian American students who have been actively turned away in favor of more oppressed groups, and this court case will be heard this fall. You may also remember Harvard's black-only graduation in 2017. Well, the crackpot group at Snopes did their best to say that this was mostly false. However, a simple reading of their own article shows the glue-eating leftist mental gymnastics needed to say that this story is mostly false. The article says that graduation is not mandatory for students to go to, and there is still a general graduation that all students can choose to attend. But of course, there was also an African-American only graduation. So if it is only African-American students allowed to go to that graduation, that Harvard put on? How is that mostly false, Snopes? And the latest regressive result of progressive politics is the new rule for Greek life on campus because of course men and women are exactly the same and we support the Me Too movement and protecting women everywhere. I don't know how they mentally balance this, but the administration said, quote, go co-ed or forfeit members opportunities to hold leadership positions on campus and win the university's endorsement for prestigious postgraduate fellowships, unquote. Well, the Delta Gamma organization announced that it's Zeta Phi Cambridge area chapter would close down because of this. Because maybe, just maybe, these girls do not want to have guys walking around where they live and shower during the pent-up, stressful, adventurous, hormone-ridden years of college. Dude, I'm losing it. I've been cooped up and studying for three weeks straight. I know, man. I'm about to lose it. <sighs> Why are you so happy? Dude, I joined a sorority. It's, it's beautiful. Women everywhere. Now really, how did this leftist administration think this is a good idea? When people tell you completely insane things like socialism works, men and women are exactly the same, and that judging people on race rather than competence is good, you know, any progressive, just ask them, let's look at some places that do what you want and mandate what you believe. How they doing, bro? <laughs> I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. And another fantastic news, you can now download the Rebel app and take me with you wherever you go to get exclusive content in the entire Rebel lineup.